Well, greetings, peoples, folks, and space aliens once again from Minnesota's wonderful winter. It's been a little cold, hasn't it? I'm coming at you with a 2022 update to my channel, what I'm planning. First off, I wanted to say thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I appreciate it. I especially appreciate the people who are watching my videos and enjoying them and liking them. I do not know how many subscribers are watching my videos, but I have some tests on that coming up here. Some random videos. So with that said, um, I wanted to give an update for the year. I will be turning the channel down, unfortunately, in the spring, doing less videos. Now a video once a week, um, every couple weeks is probably what I'm planning. I'm going through winter, looking at videos, looking at statistics. Uh, I'm seeing people who have been on YouTube for like two years. I've been doing it for three. Some have been a little longer than that. And they have this fanatic following and lots of subscribers and I don't. So I'm looking at the statistics and tech notes on my videos pretty regularly, just seeing if there's anything else I can do. Uh, realizing that my goals that I had out set out initially have not been met. With the exception of number one goal being awareness, bringing awareness to trails, I believe I got five stars for that. I think all of you realize that I brought a lot of awareness to trails. My gosh, I can't believe how many trails there are in Minnesota now. You cannot go to the same place twice if you want to go to every place. It, I mean, you go to a different place every weekend and you do fill up your summer. Uh, trying to get to all Minnesota trails, I'm getting myself four stars for that. Obviously with my injury and my thumb, um, I actually was not able to get to the two big areas that I wanted to get to. I'm going to try to do that this year. I'll talk about that in a second. Obviously, number three, following and a return on my investment. Uh, after two years, I was going to look at this and say, do I want to continue doing this? Is it worth my time? It's taking a lot of my time. It is. I am enjoying it, but um, I'm not getting a very good return. So I'm, I'm not getting any return, actually. I'm spending more money than I am anything else. Um, so that's the reason why I am turning down the count a little bit. Uh, with that said, uh, I'm not going away. Not yet, anyways. I still have some plans this year, and I wanted to share some potential trips. Um, another news. I have a bike review I'm putting out. Three years on the Pivot. Why am I doing that? Can you believe it? I'm actually going to sell the Pivot. Oh my gosh. It's earth shattering. Um, I actually realized that uh, it's still a very good bike. I'd like somebody else to have it and enjoy it. And I have found something that I might upgrade to. So there's going to be some on that, something on that here coming into spring. I might be doing a test drive on a bike that I might be buying. And then my trips for the year. Uh, I'm going to try to do two main trips. There are two or three days. Um, and then I might do two two-day trips. Uh, so it's going to be two or three, two or three trips, which is usual for me. Uh, I just can't get away uh, if I get away on the weekend. I mean, with work and whatnot. But I do have several holidays where I can do that. Plus, I have vacation. So hopefully, hopefully, I can like not crash. <laughs> First trip is going to be in May. That's going to be to Cayuna. Um, so basically, what I'm planning on doing is uh, I'm going to try to get up there as early as possible. A E A P. Um, they usually open beginning of May. I'm thinking hopefully the same weekend, May 6th, 7th, 8th, somewhere in there. Um, potentially a week earlier if we get a real early spring. Uh, I think this last one I could have gotten up real early and I didn't for whatever reason. If I don't make it up to Cayuna in early or mid-May, I will be going up there on Memorial Day. So I've got two trips. One is get up to Cayuna as early as possible. I think that's going to happen. And then I'm going to do a something on Memorial Day. I don't know what Memorial Day is going to be. I don't have anything planned for June. Uh, day trips. Think about going back to Faribault, Northfield. Um, there's a lot of places I'd love to do. Uh, Bertram and the Hillside. I'm going to try to hit those uh, with a Cayuna trip, hopefully. It turns out that July 4th is on a Monday. So that gives us a four-day weekend. So I will be hopefully up north that weekend. I'm hoping to make it to um, Giants Ridge. 
Duluth for two days, hopefully three. Um, I always say I'd love to get back up to North Shore too, but you know, in August too, but I don't know yet. Um, September, there's two weekends in September or two possibilities in September. I'm taking off, I believe it's like the 9th or 10th, 11th, somewhere in there for a trip up north to meet with some other collectors. And I will be hopefully getting to Detroit Mountain. That's another place I haven't been, as well as some of the other stuff that I walked and I wasn't able to do because of my thumb, my dumb thumb. Um, it's Labor Day. Um, I believe that's Labor Day in Morrowind. I always get those mixed up. So there might be a, a week there where I'm out. Um, I don't know what the plans are there either. But I do want to get up to Copper Harbor and Houghton. I do want to get up there in 2022 and 2023 because I have not been over there and I'm hearing all these good things about all these trails and I would love to get over there. In September, toward the end of September, I'm going to look back and see if I want to do one video a month. Um, once I get through my summer stuff in winter will be kind of one video a month or who knows, I might even shut everything down. I don't, I, probably not. But, uh, and then the final mission is going to be and this is going to dictate as to where I go this year. I'm going to try and clear every single tabletop in Minnesota. Not gap jumps, tabletops. And I will differentiate between step ups, step downs. There's some really difficult stuff still at Cottage Grove. I was looking at some of my videos. I can do those. There's a huge tabletop at the bottom of Spirit Mountain. I know I can do that, so on and so forth. Giants Ridge has a new jump line. And I know there's some stuff in Wisconsin that's new to it. I'm not concluding Wisconsin, but I might conclude it. And I know there's going to be some stuff that I'm not going to get to that I don't know about, that I forgot about or whatever. Um, so that's my plan for this year. Hopefully, I can continue the channel to some degree. But um, I'm literally running out of places to ride here in Minnesota, even though there's so many. And there's a lot of new stuff coming up, so on and so forth. Uh, new features and whatnot at, at established areas. And I just need to stop talking now. So that's my update. So, um, so I'm looking at the statistics, statistics and technology. I'm looking at the statistics and techno. It turns out that July fourth and fifth is the set. Uh, it turns out that so forth. And there's some areas. No giant ridge. I know giants ridge. Whoops, I'm supposed to be sitting in a chair. This is a chain whip. Yeah, it's made out of wood. Never used it. So, greetings, peoples, folks, and space aliens once again from Minnesota, land of the snowing snow, where there's so much snow that the snow becomes snowified snowfications of over snowified snowfications it's over double snowing snow armified snowers snow annihilations of a snow annihilating snowers sure god i got that on camera greetings people's folks and space aliens are you a giant space alien you are got one of these for you I got another one, don't worry. Oh, I got a whole bunch of them. It's in my bike wall. I got all kinds of tools. Tire levers! I even have a square nail. But you didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Gotta have some fun. Okay, now I gotta mess it up. 